What's up good people? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you're new here, I'm Vivian and this is Life with Vivian. And so you're so much welcome and kindly make sure you subscribe before you continue. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. Yeah, and so in today's video, I'm going to show you my updated makeup routine. So I hope you enjoy watching this video. I hope you learned something. So make sure you give this video a big thumbs up or give it a like. Comment what you think about the makeup, about the channel so far and everything in the comment section and I'll be sure to read and reply. Subscribe if you have not subscribed and turn on post notifications so that you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Yeah, and also share this video widely. Tell a friend to tell a friend to come and subscribe and I really appreciate. So let's get straight into the video. So I'm first going to apply my moisturizer all over my face. This is nice and lovely moisturizer in case you want to know. Let me just move a little bit closer. So that's my face after applying the moisturizer. The next thing I'm going to go in is to go in with this, this perfect and radiant Nivea day cream. I use this as my day cream and my sunscreen at the same time and primer, all those because it mattifies your screen, your skin all day. Yeah, and also in case you hear some noise, kindly bear with me. My neighbor is listening to some loud loud music yeah i like to apply a good amount of this enough i don't limit myself One good thing about this Nivea is it doesn't remain white, it's going to melt away within seconds. As you can see, it's, it's already melted. Yeah, so we're done with prepping the skin and so straight into the makeup. So there's this time I saw this girl on TikTok and she was showing her updated makeup routine and I think I wanna try that. So she first went in with her setting spray and then a translucent setting powder before she started doing her makeup. She said that will make the makeup last longer. I'm not sure because I've, I've not tried that but I wanna try that out and see if it works and I'll be sure to tell you guys. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned on my channel. Turn on post notifications so that you'll be notified whenever I'll be uploading that post for the update. Yeah, so subscribe. So I'll be using this Ever Beauty Fit Skin Setting Spray to just spray all over my face. I think that's enough. And then I just leave it to set a little bit and then I'll go in with the translucent setting powder or just my normal setting powder that I use. So I'm gonna set my eyebrows also. So this girl was saying this technique will also avoid your makeup from creasing. I don't know how sure that is but we'll see. Mm. Yeah, so I'm done with that. I don't remember that girl's name but I'll go and search on TikTok and then I'll tell you guys. Yeah, so after that 
let's get straight into doing the makeup I'm going to start with my eyebrows then the face so I'll be using Davis number no. 3 eye pencil for the eyebrows I hope you can see that I also have to zoom for a clearer and more detailed view I think that's okay So that's how they look after filling in so right now I'm just going in with this spoolie and brushing through again to make sure they are nice and neat Yeah, they, they don't have to be like identical twins, but they can look slightly the same. So that's how they look. I'll go straight to concealing or cleaning them. Back then, yeah, like back then. That's why this is an updated makeup routine. Updated. So back then I used to use this Elegal Pro Concealer, the shade phone. If you can see that. It's not focusing well, but yeah, it's Elegal Pro Concealer, the shade phone. I used to use this to clean my eyebrows, like clean, but nowadays I'm used to mixing my foundations, the one that I use on my face. This is Kiss Beauty Matte Foundation, number two, and this is Cheek Fresh and Fit All Day Matte Foundation. This is number five, so I mix these two foundations and use them on my face as the foundation and still use them to conceal my eyebrows yeah and i like that compared to when i use the concealer so i'll just go ahead and mix them on the back of my hand like that so this is darker you can see it it like almost matches my skin tone though it's darker then this is lighter so I just I just mix it on the back of my hand like that using the brush that I'll use to to like apply my concealer my foundation standing in for the concealer yeah you get it so this is the brush that I'll be using to clean my eyebrows and you can see the concealer, you can see there are two different shades one is darker, the other one is lighter you can see that and look at my eyebrows after filling in yeah so I think I'll have to block light like this and move a little bit closer to the camera so that you can you all can see well you all can see well my eyebrows so I just mix like that take off the excess like that then I'll just go in and 
clean my eyebrows though they look perfect they look like they don't need to be cleaned but let's just clean them so I'll just go in and drag the foundation like that You have to be gentle while doing this to make sure it's smooth, like it's smooth. Yeah, so you just have to drag gently while doing this. And then the remaining product, I'm going to use it on the upper side of my eyebrow. This is okay because this this is the foundation that I'm going to use all over my face, so it's gonna match the colors. The eyebrow part won't look like it's too bright as compared to when you use a brighter concealer. So I'm just going to drag. like that then I'm just gonna do the same on this other eyebrow let me just perfect this a little bit I'll go straight to blending the foundation with this damn beauty blender make sure you squeeze out the excess water yeah so I'll just blend in quickly because one thing with these matte foundations is that they dry out so fast, like so fast. So after the eyebrows, I'm just going in to do my foundation like the entire face. If you remember, I already prepped my skin, so I'll just apply the foundation directly. Yeah, before it dries out, because where well, this foundation can embarrass you, and immediately it dries out, it becomes so hard to like blend. Yeah, and also another thing that is making like this makeup to be an updated routine is. Normally I used to apply my foundation on this side and avoid the under eye and the nose because I used to fear my makeup creasing but nowadays I, f I feel like I need to concentrate my products around this area too because this is the area that I feel like needs to be the brighter area as compared to this other side and also I think it just depends with the blending and the products yeah and so nowadays my makeup doesn't crease yeah so I'm good with doing this with applying the products around the under eye then blending them all over the face so an update I think that girl's technique that I was telling you about the one that I saw on TikTok makes it hard for the for the foundation to blend like it's just so hard you can see I had to add my moisturizer because it's it's too light and it's just moisturizes so I felt like maybe it will it will make it easier for the foundation to blend so you can see I'm just mixing it I hope this I hope this works here. Yeah. yeah, so let's try and apply it on this other side and see if it will be easier to blend. Yeah, at least now it feels smooth. The other one was feeling like too, too much. I think it's now easier. So 
So maybe that girl's technique works, but you have to have like maybe let me say good products, like a good quality products, a very good one that have let's say hydrating products. Yeah, that are not too much, but at the same time they're hydrating. Yeah, it's now blending easier after I added the moisturizer. And you can also see how mixing foundation does wonders. Yeah, so try that out and thank me later. So I'm gonna go straight to doing a little eyeshadow, let's say a simple look here, yeah, that's the word, a simple eyeshadow. So I'll be using this Elegal Pro, the shade phone as the eyeshadow base. So I just apply a little amount of it on my eyelids like that. So I like blending it with my finger. It just makes the work easier. I just tap, tap, tap until it blends well. You can see that. Yeah, for today I'm going to use this Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette. I'll go for an orange, for a shade of orange. Yeah, a shade of orange. I don't know if you all can see. Most probably this one here, this one. That's the eyeshadow that I wanted. A shade of orange, as you can see. I'll be going in with this dual hand eyeliner. This is the hardest part of me doing my makeup, by the way. Reason being, the reason is because I have hooded eyes, so. I don't know what I need to do with them. Also, I'm not as sure if I'm going to do eyelashes or just or I'll just do mascara. So let's try the eyeliner. I, I hope it cooperates. Since my eyeliner has somehow cooperated, I'll not be doing the false lashes. So I'll just go in with this Beauty Model Mascara to, to just make my, my lashes pop. Yeah, my natural lashes. Lashes or lashes? Lashes. I don't know. going to set my under eye using the same same banana setting powder I'm just doing a little bit of blush, not too much. I 
I did the highlighting and the waterline of camera because I felt the, the video was getting too long. So now I'm just setting the whole makeup with the compact powder or the pressed in powder, this one. And now the remaining part of the lips but before that I'm gonna spray the setting spray to let it set in as I do my lips that's the end of this video i hope you enjoyed watching it i hope you learned something yeah so thank you for watching to this far make sure i give it a big thumbs up comment what you think about the makeup in the comment section or comment these emojis if you don't have something to comment just type these emojis right here down here and i'll be sure to reply that and yeah like your comment also and also make sure you share this video widely so that it can reach more and more and more people yeah and also subscribe if you have not subscribed and turn on post notifications so that you can get notified whenever i upload a new video yeah so that's it for this video i'll be uploading more and more and more and more So make sure you stay tuned.